everybody and welcome back to this week's Minecraft video. Today we'll be talking about how to enter the netherworld. Now I'm gonna play it kind of like I'm in story uh, survival mode, excuse me, and I'm going to find a cave with lava. Now you need the lava and you need a bucket of water to find the obsidian. Let's see, oh, what do you know, I found lava. So I'm gonna put some water up here. As the water drops on it, it makes it obsidian, and the only way to collect obsidian is with a diamond pickaxe. So you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, now I have 20 obsidian. I believe you only need about 14 to make the portal itself. Now that I have my obsidian, I'm going to put four on the bottom. That's right. And one, two, three, four extra on the side. Two, four extra on that side. All right, and that's the shape. So you want a total of five on this side, five obsidian blocks on this side. But one, two, three, four, five, yeah and then four on the tops. Once you have that, you'll need to pull out your flint and steel, which is made with one piece of iron and one piece of flint, and light that bad boy. There you go. That's your portal right there. And you can just hop in, and it takes you to a whole new world. Okay, now that we're back in this world, it takes a little bit to load, so sorry about that cut take out all the fire. I just want to show you guys how the entrance looks. Now every entrance is going to be different because this isn't, this what you're looking at isn't what the netherworld is. This is just like in the middle of a mountain. The this actual portal takes you to random coordinates in the netherworld. But since I am in creative mode, I'm just going to cut through it all. Ah, oh, here we are. Okay. So this is what the netherworld looks like. You have some quartz up there, the zombie pigment, a magma cube. Right off the bat, these are all the creatures we're seeing. All right, if we come down here, we'll see some gravel. Now, if you ever find some floating gravel, be careful, because if you step on it or you do one wrong thing to it, that floating gravel will no longer float, and you will fall with it. Just like that. So be careful with that. Anyways, the netherworld is full of lava, just like this. This right here is called glowstone. When you break it, it drops glowstone powder, and you need enough powder to make one block. And there are also dungeons in the netherworld. If I could find one, I will show you guys. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so we are not at the dungeon yet, but I want to show you guys what a ghast looks like in the game. These guys are pretty crazy. I'm going to jump in survival mode, and I'm going to show you what it's like to fight one of these guys. Oh, first I actually have to give myself a weapon. Well, let's not make that mistake. I'll give myself a wooden sword. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, this is soul sand. Soul sand makes you walk a little bit slower. Come here. Hit me with that. Hit me with your best shot. Oh. All right. So what he just did was he shot a, a fireball at me. Yeah. And I hit it with my wooden sword. It doesn't matter how strong your sword is. I believe you could even hit it with your fist, to be honest. Let's see if they ever want to. Come here. Oh, he hit me. Okay. Okay. This is not good. I don't know if you could hit it with your fist or not, but. Oh, he's gonna regret this when I jump back into creative mode, I'll tell you what. Do it. Oh! Okay, do it. Oh, okay, so if you, you want to hit him with his own fireball, that is the best way to defeat him. Or if you have um, a 
crossbow, a trident. I wouldn't waste a trident on a gas though. Oh, oh, oh! I've never done that before. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. I'm glad I. I'm glad you guys were here and saw that happen. Okay. Now I'm gonna hop back into creative mode and find you guys that dungeon. See you guys then. All right. This right here is the coolest dungeon I have ever found in this game. I guess this is a great server because look at this. This is awesome. Anyways, the dungeons here have chests throughout the map that have random loot. Some will have saddles, name tags, swords, iron. And you can just roam the whole thing. You'll find some skeletons every now and again. You'll find some wither skeletons and some blazes. Now if I could find at least one of those. Oh, what are you doing here? Bah! Here we find. He lives in lava. Okay, here are both wither skeletons and blazes. Now wither skeletons, you have to fight them so you can take their heads. And once you get a certain amount of heads, I'll show you what they look like. You can actually get them in creative mode. Right here. So once you get their skulls, you can create a statue of soul sand, I believe, and soul sand and the heads. And once you put on the heads, it should come to life. I made a video on it. It basically explains don't summon this by your base because if you like your base, you will you. <laughs> You won't have a base anymore if you summon it near your base. Now, here are all the blazes. Here's this guy. I'm gonna hop back into survival mode just so he can take a swing at me. Oh, okay, yeah, and my health is all black. Ah! I'm gonna go back in creative mode. All right, my, you saw how my health turned black and it just kept doing damage to me. These guys are really tough, but they're also not that hard to Oh, okay, well, that was a bad example. Um, let me find another guy. Okay, so here's with a wooden sword. Four hits to take him out. Blaze rod, or blaze rod, sorry, that's what they drop. With a blaze, I hit one, two, three, four with a wooden sword. Big men, probably four. Oh, five for, um, big man. But as I was saying, throughout this whole layer, oh, this is a spawn, these spawn blaze rods. Throughout this whole cave, or this whole dungeon, you will find treasure chests, like the one we saw before, this one right here, containing a golden horse armor and two diamonds. Soul sand, some mushrooms in there. Wither skeletons. There's another box. There we go. Now there's some flint and steel in this one, iron, gold sword, gold ignit, and another one. So those are dungeons. That's really all that the Enderworld has. Um, sorry, Enderworld. This is all that the Netherworld has to offer. If you want to get home, you just go back to your portal, but I have no idea where the portal is because I decided to fly around. Luckily, I am in creative mode and I have unlimited obsidian. Okay, and it looks like my new portal took me somewhere completely random. That makes sense. Ooh, more lava. I can make more obsidian. As I go up to the other world, ooh, it left me underwater. That's dangerous. Oh, okay. This is gonna have to be in another video. This is a biome, one of the most rare biomes, I believe, called a Mesa. Wow, okay, I've never been here before. That's a detour in this little video for this week, but that is all for this week's video. So, thank you guys for coming again this week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Once again, I am Mr. Preston, and I'm signing out.
Bye, guys. Thank you.